Welcome to our video on the de Havilland DH.98 Mosquito. This remarkable aircraft, known as the Wooden Wonder, was one of the most versatile and successful aircraft of World War II. Renowned for its speed, maneuverability, and unique wooden construction, the Mosquito served in a variety of roles, from bomber to reconnaissance to night fighter. Join us as we explore the fascinating history and incredible feats of this iconic aircraft. Designed by de Havilland, the Mosquito boasted a unique construction of wood and plywood, earning it the nickname, Wooden Wonder. Its lightweight yet sturdy frame allowed for impressive speed, maneuverability, and versatility. Equipped with 4.303 caliber machine guns and for 20mm cannons, the Mosquito was a formidable force in combat, capable of striking ground targets with precision or engaging enemy aircraft with deadly accuracy, however. The journey to develop the Mosquito was not without its challenges. Initially, skepticism surrounded the use of wood as a primary construction material for an aircraft. Yet, the innovative design and skilled craftsmanship of de Havilland's engineers proved critics wrong, resulting in a highly successful and effective aircraft that exceeded expectations on the battlefield. Armor The DH.98 Mosquito was not heavily armored as its design prioritized speed and agility over defensive protection. However, its wooden construction provided some inherent resilience against enemy fire. Bomb loads, the Mosquito had the capacity to carry various bomb loads, ranging from 500-pound bombs to 4,000-pound blockbuster bombs. It could also carry torpedoes, mines, or rocket projectiles, making it a versatile platform for both precision bombing and anti-shipping operations. Number of crew, the standard crew complement for the Mosquito was two, a pilot and a navigator bombardier positioned in the nose of the aircraft. This streamlined crew configuration allowed for efficient operation and communication during missions. Crew jobs, the pilot was responsible for flying the aircraft and engaging targets, while the navigator bombardier handled navigation, bomb aiming, and communication with ground or naval forces. This division of tasks ensured effective mission execution and target accuracy. Speed, the DH.98 Mosquito was renowned for its exceptional speed, capable of reaching speeds of up to 668 km per hour or 415 miles per hour at altitude. This speed advantage allowed it to outrun many enemy fighters and evade interception during bombing raids. Range, with its long-range capabilities, the Mosquito could cover vast distances on missions deep into enemy territory. It had a maximum range of approximately 2,400 kilometers or 1,500 miles when fully loaded with fuel and ordnance, enabling it to conduct strategic bombing operations and reconnaissance missions with extended endurance. Production numbers, over 7,700 Mosquito aircraft were produced during World War II, making it one of the most widely manufactured and versatile aircraft of the era. Its production spanned various marks and variants, each tailored to specific roles and operational requirements. Firepower and Speed The Mosquito's firepower, consisting of 4.303 caliber machine guns and 420mm cannons, provided devastating strafing capabilities against ground targets and enemy aircraft. Its high-speed, low-level attacks caught opponents off guard, allowing it to inflict significant damage before evading retaliation. Strategic Bombing One of the Mosquito's primary roles was strategic bombing. Its ability to carry heavy bomb loads over long distances made it instrumental in conducting precision bombing raids against key enemy infrastructure, including industrial facilities, airfields, and transportation networks. These raids often disrupted enemy supply lines and production capabilities, contributing to the overall Allied war effort. Tactical support, in addition to strategic bombing, the Mosquito provided crucial tactical support to ground forces. It performed reconnaissance missions, gathering vital intelligence on enemy movements and positions. Furthermore, it conducted ground attack missions, targeting enemy armor, artillery positions, and troop concentrations with its formidable firepower. Night operations, the Mosquito's versatility extended to night operations, where its speed and low radar cross-section made it an effective night fighter and intruder aircraft. Equipped with radar and advanced navigational aids, it hunted enemy bombers, disrupted night raids, and conducted nocturnal attacks on enemy targets with precision. Downsides, despite its numerous strengths, the Mosquito had some downsides. 
its wooden construction, while lightweight and conducive to high speeds, made it vulnerable to fire and damage from enemy flak and gunfire. Additionally, its relatively limited defensive armament and lack of heavy armor left it susceptible to attacks from enemy fighters, particularly during daylight bombing missions. DH.98 Mosquito BMK-4 Improvements, the BMK-4 variant was primarily designed as a bomber. It featured upgraded engines, typically Rolls-Royce Merlin engines, which provided increased power and performance compared to earlier models. Additionally, it had an extended bomb bay and increased fuel capacity for longer-range missions. Modifications, the BMK-4 variant underwent modifications to accommodate different bomb loads and specialized equipment for specific mission requirements. These modifications included the installation of various bomb racks, aiming devices, and electronic countermeasure systems. Role on the battlefield, the Mosquito BMK-4 played a crucial role in strategic bombing operations against key enemy targets, including industrial centers, military installations, and infrastructure. Its high speed and long range capabilities allowed it to penetrate deep into enemy territory with precision bombing raids, inflicting significant damage and disrupting enemy war efforts. The Mosquito's innovative construction from wood and other non strategic materials challenged conventional aircraft design. Its lightweight yet robust structure, coupled with powerful engines, demonstrated the feasibility of unconventional materials in aircraft construction. Numerous surviving examples of the DH.98 Mosquito are preserved in museums, aviation heritage centers, and private collections around the world. By preserving these iconic aircraft, enthusiasts and historians honor the memory of the brave aircrews who flew the Mosquito and commemorate its role in shaping aviation history. Comment below of what thing I should talk about next and subscribe for more.